It's time now for a look at in local news. In the news, the Wayne County Sheriff's Department gave an update on the investigation into the death of 8-year-old Noah Bush this past Thursday afternoon, and it reads as follows. Sheriff Chuck Mosley releases the following information in reference to the death of Noah Bush. Detective Stephen Crane of the Wayne County Sheriff's Office and Nick Anstek of the GBI did interviews with numerous people in the case. DA's office was contacted. A meeting took place with members of the Wayne County Sheriff's Office and the GBI. After this meeting, the immediate family, along with several that they included, met with the Wayne County Sheriff's Office and the GBI agent. Detective Crane explained to the family where they were at this in the case, including the fact that some of the tests being performed would take some time to complete. The family was also advised that the videos received were being sent to have the video and audio quality enhanced so that everything was clear and precise. This was being done to determine what charges need to be taken and that there would be sufficient evidence to support the charges. They state they realize that some feel that this investigation is taking too long, but they want to make sure that all evidence that they receive is obtained. With the juvenile-involved case, they state the procedures involving first appearance and presentation of the case is different from that involving adults. It happens at a much faster pace, and everything to be presented in court is present at that time. They state they realize that this is taking longer than some people believe it should, but some of the tests being requested is a timely process, and they ask that everyone be patient. They have not released much information about the case to the public, and they want to maintain the integrity of the case. They want to ensure that everyone that the, that the immediate family has been talked to regularly and what information has been given to them has been given. And when the investigation is complete, any charges to be made will be appropriate to the evidence that is obtained. Over the weekend, the family of, and the Wayne County community gathered at Unity Church of God for the funeral services. Noah remembered as a loving child who loved his family and friends and loved basketball and football. A lot of red and black worn Saturday as Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls was Noah's favorite team. Noah's second grade teacher at James E. Bacon Elementary, Gracie Yoder, part of the ceremony, and she had these words about Noah Bush. I came into this year with a full heart of love and patience, eager to be the first year teacher that helped her kids excel academically. But when I finished this year and I looked back, my greatest accomplishment was not grades. Instead, it was that my students knew that when they came to school, they were loved and safe. Noah's first words to me, actually, this year were, I'm not a good student. <laughs> when I asked him to elaborate on that, he said he didn't like to sit down, and he did not like to focus on one thing. Of course, my thoughts were, oh, goodness. This is my first year, but I quickly reassured him and told him that he had found his home. We taught each other patience, and he taught me that it was okay if a student wasn't sitting in their desks all day, eager to learn. He'd walk around the room with me, my little teaching assistant, and he helped other students conceptualize what I was teaching. He brought us laughter and joy. He had a way of making everybody feel lighter. Anybody that was having a bad day in class, all they had to do was have a little conversation with Noah and their face would be full of a big ear-to-ear -ear smile. He loved to love. I'm sure people, Ms. Suzette, Miss Cooksey, walking into my room for my observations, sometimes thought maybe I was a little unorganized. <laughs> and sometimes I felt unorganized. But having that flexible seating and Noah walking around the room to alleviate that excess energy, if that's unorganized, then I'll always be an unorganized teacher. Because Noah showed me that this is a strategy that works. It's a strategy that helped him feel at home at school. He felt loved at school, and he knew that I was there to support him. And once again, those comments that Grace Yoder, her second grade teacher, James E. Bacon Elementary, once again, the Sheriff's Department and GBI seeking answers to exactly what happened on that afternoon of May 16th. Just at Mayor Ralph Hickox, also at the funeral Saturday, assuring the family that the city and the community want the same thing as the family wants. And it's my prayer today, and it's my expectation, that your family, that the community gets answers. And yes, you get justice. But more so, it's my prayer today that you get peace. You got above all else. But I want to come forward today to, to say on behalf of the city of Jessup and of the entire Wayne County, this child is not just your child, it's the child of Wayne County. And that we're all mourning with you. 
who are all of them also. God bless all of you. Once again, Noah Bush laid to rest Saturday. The family statement is that they would like to extend their deepest gratitude for the outpouring of love, support, prayers during this incredible and difficult time. Your kindness and compassion has been a source of strength for us as we navigate this unimaginable loss. Special thanks to the staff at Community Chapel Funeral Home for their exceptional care and dedication. We're profoundly grateful for every gesture of sympathy and support, which has meant so much to our family. Thank you for honoring Noah. Once again, this story not over. It does appear that charges are coming. WIFL family will continue to follow the story as it develops, but the Sheriff's Department emphasizing some of the test results that they're waiting on could take some time to complete. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Both the Wayne County Commissioners and the Jessup City Commissioners have meetings this week. The Commissioners have their regular scheduled monthly meeting tonight at 6 p.m. at the County Commissioners Meeting Room. Under the agenda, Citizens Concerns, that is bugs to talk about post road slowdown signs, child playing, and upkeep of cemetery in Mount Pleasant. Dennis Grantham talk about using the names of deceased military for naming street roads and highways in Wayne County. Under old business, consider to approve EMS medical director agreement, which was tabled from their May meeting. Under new business, consider to approve agreement with the Georgia DOT corrections for prison detail. Consider to approve bids for fence and lights at recreation department and pickleball courts. Consider approved bids for vehicles for road department. Brandon Purcell on the agenda to consider and approve Derek Land Acres Mobile Home Subdivision and approve a Flint Branch du Duplex Subdivision. Consider approved minimum bids for property. Consider approved agreement with Health Department to administer influenza vaccines for employees' health fair. Consider approved MOU for water sewer for Board of Education Ag Building. Consider approved changing the July meeting and consider approved replacing sheriff's vehicle. Several board appointments, items with the administrator, items with the county clerk, items with the commissioners. All that's set for this evening at 6 p.m. at the county commissioner's meeting room. On Tuesday, the city commissioners have a work session at 5.30 to discuss their budget. And then at 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock, they have their regularly scheduled meeting on the agenda Tuesday under old business. Continued discussion on their budget, golf cart purchase change, pool renovation and pool item purchases pool daily rates and schedule to be discussed, fire buildings renovation and construction update, under new business, WJ Capital, LLC request for 755 East Walnut Street from R2 to C3, July for construction of middle, middle building for commercial rental purposes, Georgia Fund resolution to authorize investment, items with the city manager, items with commissioners, items with the mayor, all that's set for Tuesday at 7 p.m. Summer feeding program begins tomorrow here in Wayne County. It runs up until July 30th. takes place every Tuesday and Thursday with the exception of the July 4th holiday. Pickup time 1030 to 1130 at the following locations. Martha Bucket Middle School, Martha Ross Smith Elementary, James E. Bacon Elementary, Odom Elementary, and the Sam Dreyer Community in Scriven, Georgia. School Food Services Director Indy Trapner, our special guest today on the Butch and Bob Show. She'll have all the details about the summer feeding program, which again kicks in tomorrow and runs up until the end of July. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor, the Commercial Messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes news, the 2024 Catfish Tournament, sponsored by the Wayne County Board of Tourism, took place this past weekend. They had 68 boats, 144 fishermen, and 11 youth turning out in hopes of landing the mighty Ultima Monster Catfish. This year's winners are as follows. First place, the $7,500 winner was Seth Alday of Aletha, Florida, and Andrew Sumner of Westfield, Florida. They had five fish, total weight of 93.45 pounds. Second place, $5,000 winner was Todd Davis of Brockton, Georgia, and Hunter Pritchard of Ambrose, Georgia, a five fish total weight of 87.70 pounds. Third place, $1,500 winner was Tiff Thompson of Americas, Georgia, five fish total weight of 74.40 pounds. Fourth place, $750 winner and 1,000 biggest fish winner was Danny Spell of Alma, Georgia. Four fish total weight of 64.60 pounds. Biggest fish weight was 35.5 pounds. Fifth place winner of $500 was Marvin Rushing of Ponce de Leon, Florida, with five fish total weight of 64.45 pounds. Sixth place, $250 winner was a tie. Winners were Zay Tucker of McCray, Georgia, and Brandon Belfire of Alamo, Georgia. They had five fish, total weight of 62.60 pounds. The $250 female biggest fish winner was Marlena Griffiths of Jessup, Georgia. She had a weight of 16.65 pounds. $250 big fish kid winner was Flint Alday with a weight of four pounds. Again, a total of 
1,736.33 pounds of catfish was weighed through the tournament this past weekend. Again, those results of the Wayne County Board of Tourism's catfish tournament held this past weekend here in Jessup. Chamber of Commerce sponsoring a membership appreciation luncheon tomorrow from 11 to 1 at the Wayne County Farmer's Market. It's going to be a barbecue dinner. Again, the members are invited. Again, it takes place tomorrow between 11 to 1 at the Wayne County Farmer's Market. And that'll do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan's have a great day.